What's up everybody, back again with another video, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the LG Stylo 4. I've had all of these series, the LG Stylo series, and the LG, most of the LG phones. Um, I've had the Aristo, um, all the Stylos, I've had a couple more LGs, but I can't think of them on top head. But this is the LG Stylo 4. I, I have 2 and 3 on my channel, I did not get a chance to, to unbox or do videos for the LG G Stylo because I had that phone way before I started doing YouTube. So, this phone is a major beast. This is one of my favorite LG phones so far, unless LG wants to bring out another phone, a bigger phone than 6.2, maybe a 6.5 inch, then I'm going to go. But, this is a 6.2 full HD touchscreen with stylus, fingerprint sensors in the back, 32 gigabytes of ROM, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 1.5 gigahertz octa-core processor. Now, this is the Boost Mobile version. Got this at Walmart. I will tell you the price in just a second. But, but the um, Metro version and the Cricut version have different specs, I believe. I think the Cricut has 16 gigabytes of ROM, I believe. In three gigabytes of RAM, I'm not sure. Don't get me wrong, but I know for sure that Metro has a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor, and I think three gigabytes of RAM. Not sure, but I do know it's 1.8 because that's the Metro version. But this is the phone, and I will show you guys the phone in a second. But I fucked this box up. That guys, they be having some type of fucking major gorilla glue on the back. You gotta go on top and just go major ham this one too i didn't now i didn't mean to go crazy on this one if i had my unboxing knife then that would have been cooler but i was at walmart and i had to open it because i needed a protective screen on my phone so i had to go crazy <clears throat> but here's the receipt got this at walmart let me zoom that in 129 129 bucks for this phone as you can see um i have so many uh minuses because i could have i couldn't afford the 50 dollars for the plan so i got the 35 dollars subtotal 164 so actually no 139 got the phone for 139 total right there so yeah you can get this <clears throat> for 129 at Walmart without the plan so it's just 129 130 just straight without the service but here's the pen because it is not a removable back so you have to put the SIM and the SD card in the little slot here's your um, start guide right here right here came the phone with a screen protector on but of course it's not meant to be on by itself or stay on also right here in these little slots were the charger so this is the charger brick this is not fast charging sadly type C right there thank God this is type C I don't think the stylo 2 or 3 were type C's I don't think I think LG starting to put their phones um, with the um, Type-C now. But here's the phone. Up top. Let it focus. You have your 5 megapixel camera. You have your proximity sensor. You have your speaker grill. And you have your LED notification light right there. At the bottom you have nothing. You have no embedded buttons like you did on the ZTE. No embedded buttons. Because they're all... On the phone but I could show you a cool thing to have them show and then have them not show it's pretty cool the left side of the phone you have an antenna band like an iPhone so LG trying to copy Hold on, let me focus all right there's your volume rockers right there pretty pretty clicky also at the bottom you have the sim tray right there an SD card tray bottom of the phone I'm trying to do this with one hand guys I don't have my um, my tripod on me right now let that zoom in all right you have your 3.5 and you have another antenna band you have your mic your um, 
Type-C charging port, speaker, and your stylus pen. Let's take that out. And there's also a cool thing that you could do with that as well, the stylus pen, and I'll show you guys. Let me take the pen out. It's hard doing it with one hand. That's what she said. Huh. But here's the pen. And of course, just like, I think they started it on the Stylo 2, I believe, but I know you didn't have this on the Stylo 1. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It turned off on me. But there you go. Once you take your pen out, if the screen is black, you can write on the pen. You can erase on the pen. So it's pretty cool. You can save it as well to your gallery or your quick memo, which is pretty cool. And you just exit it out. So I heard, I heard from the grapevine that the Metro PCS screen is more vibrant than the Boost Mobile screen. Now, I'm pretty sure it's true because, hey, Boost Mobile, mm, it's a shitty company compared to Metro, just in my opinion, but um, I do know that they have this, the Stylo 4 on the Metro PCS, Cricut, and Boost Mobile. I'm not sure if they have it on AT&T because AT&T is the, mo the more, and AT&T and T-Mobile is the major companies that you know, basically run these little small companies. T-Mobile runs Metro. I believe Sprint run um, Boost Mobile. Um, I think Cricket's run by AT&T, I believe. So, yeah, all these higher ends are, you know, basically the big brother of these little companies. So, on the back, you have the 13 megapixel. You have a single, the single flash. I'm trying to zoom in. There you go single flash, and you have the fingerprint scanner. Now, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but on the back of this, you have a pattern. Let me zoom in. Focus it, I should say. And I don't think this is on the Cricut, this texture. I don't, I don't know. But this is plastic backing, but on the Metro PCS version, it's just a clear backing. But... On this Boost Mobile version, you get this nice plastic texture. Now you have nothing else from the from the power button to this little logo. Nothing on the back, just nice little pattern. It's actually really slippery, so I advise you to get a case. I already got a case. Got this at Metro, twenty five bucks. Just a little flimsy black case. They have different colors. Now Metro is coming out with design cases, like flower cases and all that stuff, so it's pretty cool. So, they have a shit ton of cases for the LG Stylo 4, so I suggest you pick up a screen protector, because I have a screen protector on it. I'm going to, I don't know if you can see it, it's the one that's black, it has a black trimming around it. The, the ones that they had for the um, ZTE, Z Max Pro. I don't, I'm not a fan of those, because it makes the bezel a lot bigger. And when I'm playing a game or whatever, this side part, you can see it sticking over. So, I'm going to order me an actual screen protector. The one that's just plain clear, no black, no... Bl and I understand what they're doing with this, making it more black. I get it, but it's not for me. There's a huge bubble, like a rainbow bubble right there. I'm not a big fan of it. I know the lady put it on correctly because I watched her, but not a big fan. Um... Up top, you have two antenna bands, just like the iPhone, and you have the another another um, noise cancellation mic. Right side, you have a power button and another antenna band, and nothing else. So let's get into the phone itself. Now I have my fingerprint, so gets in not as fast as ZTE. ZTE, you just tap it, boom. But it does work 100% of the time. I have two fingerprints on it. Three, actually. And, yeah. So, that's... It also has a knock-on feature. So, if you don't want to do your fingerprint... Also, you can do it off-screen. Like, you don't have to have the screen on. Put your fingerprint. Boom, you're in. Let's go into settings right quick. This is hard seeing through the phone, so let me just do that, <clears throat> general, about phone, uh, software, 
This is running 8.1.0 Oreo. Or as my homeboy Flossie Carter says, Optimus Prime. So this year on the Oreo, you have this little Oreo looking octopus and you could just move them around, stretch them out. So that's pretty creepy and cool at the same time. So also go back into the settings. You have a lot of cool features. As you can see, you have the knock on feature. You can turn that off or on. I like it on. You have pen features. Open when pen is removed. I have that none, but when you remove the pen, you can have pop memo or pop or pen pop. So pen pop is basically, you know, when you first get the phone and uh, I'm trying to get it out. Okay. When you first take the pen out, of course, you have your pen pop right here. And you can change that. You can re rotate all this or you can add more just by clicking that plus. So that's pretty cool. Or you can have pen pop or pen memo. So when you're open the pen, for if you really need a note really, really, really bad, then you know, pen pop memo is really cool. Or you can have none. Nothing pops up when you take the pen out. And that's what I have. Because I don't really need the pen pop or the pop memo. So I just use nothing. And it vibrates when you pull it out and you and when you um, stick it back in. Yeah, yeah, I know. All these sexual jokes. You have pen pop shortcut. Let's see what that does. Oh, this is... You can um, edit all of this. So you can take all of this off except for pop memo. You need that. That's a default. So you can take all of that. You can add eight ball, my bank, calendar. You can add whatever you want. So when you pull the pen out, all of those will pop up. But I barely use, I don't use the pen pop. So I can put all those back on. But yeah, and also you can rotate which one you want to pop up first. So that's pretty cool. Screen off memo, you can turn that off. So when your screen is off and you pull the pen out, the screen doesn't pop on. I think I'm going to keep that off because I don't use the screen off memo. The memo preview, so when you pull out the pen, the memo preview won't show up. Pen detection, sound or vibrate when you remove or insert the pen. So I keep that on, of course. So when you take it out, if your sound is all the way up, it'll make the sound when you pull it. Pen keeper, be reminded when the screen is off and you are moving with your phone without the pen. Insert it. So if I take out the pen and I leave it on my bed right now and I take the phone and I go to the bathroom or whatever, it's going to let me know that my pen is far away from my phone. And that is cool. That is pretty cool. Let you know if your pen is in or where your pen um, is off your body. Storage. Let's go to the storage. <clears throat> I have 21.47 used up right now. I have 10.53 free. So, out of 32, I use 21.47, 67%. So, 100% is the rest of the circle. So, I have 10.53 available. And it's mainly on my music, as you can see, and other apps. I use my music a lot. It takes one point seven gigabytes of your storage. I don't have that many pictures yet because of course this is a new phone, but that will probably go all the way up. It takes um, 0 0.02 gigabytes from that. Games, 0.78 gigabytes, and I have a couple games on here. Uh, only movies I have is Netflix, basically. So, yeah. Battery life, it's pretty cool, actually. For it not being... Uh, a fast charge, it actually charges really fast if you leave it alone. If you charge it, if I were to charge it right now, like it's 100%. I woke up, I took this off charger at 12.59, so 1-ish, took this off the charger, and boom, it's still 100%, and I've been using it to do this video. Now, if you had iPhone, that shit would probably go from 100 to 82 right now. No lie. Let's zoom in. Alright. 
So, yeah, if you just put it on the charger, like if I had 63% right now and I put it on the charger right now and left it alone, did not play on it at all and just let let it charge, within 30 minutes, legit, it would either be at 90-something or it would be finished charging. Not even lying. This is actually pretty fast. You have lock, um, lock screen and security. So you have your select screen lock. So... See. Okay, so that's either swipe, you have no screen lock, so just have none, so when you just open the phone, and it just, your screen just pops up. Swipe, swipe to unlock screen, so just swiping. Pattern, you have your pattern that I just had, pin, that's just the numbers, password is, of course, a long password. I have three saved fingerprints, uh, two of of my fingers, my left index, and my right index, and then my girlfriend's uh, right index finger are locked. So customize lock screen, you can customize the wallpaper, the clock, the position of the clock, center, or the left side of when um, your screen is off, and then you turn it back on. So let's knock on the screen. That's center. Let's unlock. Um, let's go OK. Clock has been changed. Let's knock on it to lock it. And boom, it's on the left side. I think I like the left side better to be 100 because then you have more screen. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to keep that. So, yeah, you can position the clock. Let's front that forward. You have contact info for lost phone, shortcuts, customized shortcuts on locked screen. So, oh wow, you could put five. So when you have your phone screen on, off and you knock on, that's what two are right there, your camera and your phone. You can also add three more. That's pretty freaking cool to get in, like, really quickly. Let me see my Chrome. Wow, that's... And then knock on. Oh, I didn't save. Let me see. Let me. Okay. Now, let's try it. Wow, that's pretty cool. And you slide up. Fingerprint. And you're in your Chrome. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't think I'm going to save it, though. You see, customize lock screen, shortcuts. That's cool, though. You can add shortcuts, so that's pretty cool. Trying to remove it. All right. So you can add up to three, so there will be five lined up of how many you want. I'm trying to hold this phone a certain way. Okay. So let's get out of there. You have your fingerprints right here. That's where you do your fingerprints. I'm not going to do that anymore. You can make password visible or invisible, so that's pretty cool. I know I'm hella shaking. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold it, guys. Turn my fingers. Up. Hold on. All right, make sure I'm not blocking the microphone. All right, so you have display stuff. You have your wallpapers. Let's go to that. So you have themes as well. That's pretty cool. That one's cool. So you have themes on here. You have wallpapers on here as well. And these colors are very, very, very... Let's turn this all the way up so you guys can see what I'm seeing. I'm sure you can't see it on camera. It's not doing it justice, but off camera... These actually look vibrant. Ah, I don't want to update anything right now. But yeah, these look very vibrant. These colors actually look vibrant. Uh, mini view. This is when... This is a 6.2 inch, so... Yeah, you're going to want to shrink that screen a little bit. You can shape it, resize it. 
go smaller. So you can only go from there to there, basically. So when you have one hand, you can actually use it with uh, one hand, which is pretty cool. That's actually really cool. So yeah, that's that's mini view. Because this is a 6.2 inch. Now look, now I have to go all the way, like slide my fingers all the way up here to slide down. When you just put mini view, slide from the back, and boom, you're in mini view. Now, now I could just pull down right there. If it'll zoom in, there you go, or focus I should say. So turn it off, push the X, and then push off. So that's really cool. Let me turn this down. I use it's on 50% all the time. I have my phones on 50% all the time. Because it's not too dark, it's not too bright, it's in the middle. It's 50% in the middle. So, you have sound. Now, the speakers are trash. Speaker, I should say. Now, LG wants to be a cool phone. They added the antenna bands, like the iPhone. They added the Type-C's, like the ZTE phones. They still have the jack, so it's not like an iPhone, really. Um, it has a pin, so it's better than, you know, it's, it's like the um, the Galaxy Note. So, I mean, LG's trying to copy, I understand, but if you're trying to copy, at least add another speaker and make it work for, like, surround sound, because these speakers are trash. Last year's speakers were actually pretty decent, and actually they moved it from the back to the bottom of it. Mm, I don't think that was a good idea. I think it was actually much louder when they had it on the back, to be honest, to be 100, because your your hands basically cupping, so it's basically giving you surround sound, in my opinion. So let's go to a video on YouTube. Let's just do an advertisement, because I'm not trying to get copywritten. So this one. After the 19 you wait, just wait. Now, I think the quality is trash to me because of my screen protector. I need to take this off. I need to get a new one because it's just making it's making everything grainy and I don't like it. So, for sure, I'm going to get a new one. And yeah, because but look at the size. Like just look at it. So, let's play it. After the 1906 earthquake, people the needed access to their right. money. So even though bank records were buried, Wells Fargo let customers withdraw based on their word. Alright. I'm going to play non-copyright music. Exit that out. Catch her back oh, then. Not play. Exit. So basically, this is an ad, but you can still hear it. So, and it's turned up all the way. I promise you can see it. Speakers in there. Speakers are trash. I'm not gonna lie. There's times where I miss my ZTE because those speakers were loud. They're pretty loud. Um, what else did I want to show you? I've already had this phone for a while, so you know I have it. You know my setup and whatnot. Gaming is pretty smooth. We'll go to Helix Jump. Gaming is pretty smooth. On the ZTE, I don't recommend if you have the ZTE Blade Z Max. I don't recommend this game for it because it does some weird lagging shit. So, I, when I had my iPhone 6, just as my music phone and all that stuff, I had a Helix Jump on there and it played smoothly. This plays smoothly. I mean, there's some 
little tension here, but it's not like how I had it. It's hard seeing through the phone. It's not how it was on the GT Easy Max. Like, that was straight crazy. Like, any turns I would make, it would lag. I would hit, you know, hit it on the weird part. But it actually plays smoothly. I play 8-ball, not a lot, but when I do play 8-ball, it's smooth. I play slices a lot. No lagging. I mean, it doesn't lag you out like some phones. You know, it. some phones are not really gaming phones. I heard that this is a gaming phone. This, because if you go to your settings, there's actually a gaming setting. Uh, general, boom, a gaming setting. So I heard this is one of the best gaming phones. You have game tools. Get more out of gaming by tapping the game tools icon in the game. I have to try that. Game graphics. Oh, no. Oh. Game graphics. So you have all the games right here. Now you can put it on high. Like, you can just play with all this stuff. It's really cool. Like, Candy Crush is actually in, in built-in game, so Candy Crush Soda comes with the phone already. I didn't download that. It came with the phone. So you can just mess around with all of this. You can have the resolution low, medium, or normal, or high. So, you know what I'm saying? So if you're a really big gamer, like if you have maybe like a shooting game on your phone, you can change the graphics and all that stuff. You can make it low, normal, high. Like, it's amazing. Like, this is a cool phone. This is a dope-ass phone. Also, I want to show you, I'm going to go to Google. It's safer. Alright. Now, you can see, let me not show any important information on people. So, as you can see, I have no embedded buttons. I have no buttons at all. Where are my buttons? This is a full 6.2 6 inch screen right here. Full. Now let me show you something. If you just bought this phone, or are thinking about buying this phone, slide up, double tap, now they're there. They won't go away. This little button right here will change your life forever. Click on it. It'll tell you tap twice to hide the home touch buttons. And they're gone. And they won't come. And you can do that for many different apps. You can do that for your Facebook, your Instagram, your YouTube. And it'll stay. Like. It's still there. Take that off. Exit out. Like I'm going to exit out fully. And go back. And it's gone. That will change your life, I promise you. It makes your phone screen so much bigger. Your buttons are not in the way because, of course, when you get the phone, it's going to be like this. So, you basically have that in the way. Take that off. Now you have a full 6.2 inch screen. Full. So giving you information sorry but yeah that I'm gonna actually go to Facebook now I'm not gonna show anything because Facebook is my privacy but well I guess you could see that it's me and my little brother so yeah don't have the embedded buttons oh shit because it's gonna come like that when you go into Facebook, it's going to be like that. Take that off. Now you see what's underneath. The send and messenger and share was underneath. So you can't see that. So you have to slide up to see what's underneath. But, and now you see. Change your life. Change mine. <laughs> Change mine. And it works for all of your apps, basically. It works for Wish, Messenger. Uh, Snapchat, Facebook, your phone messages. I'm not going to show you what it looks like because I have messages already. So, but, but it comes like that. Just like that.
take it off and it just makes it look so much cooler. Start a chat. Let's put a random number. Don't know this number, so call it if you would like. It's not on me. And it has emojis. This is a different keyboard. Um, this is not the general keyboard. I will get the original keyboard back. I just got an additional keyboard because I like to put emojis on my contacts, on my family's contacts, pictures. So if you want to download it, it's called Face Emoji Keyboard. And it lets you put, let me see, let me try to find my mom. See, it, thank God it doesn't show numbers, but you can put emojis on your contacts. That's with the face emoji keyboard. With the original keyboard, you cannot. So let's put that. Let's put that for right now. Customize later. So, all right, let's go back to the messages. This is your original keyboard that you have. You have the swiping effect. You have emojis on that. And these emojis are pretty cool. They don't have the iPhone emojis. How you know? Because all the hand emojis aren't the same. They don't have the finger, uh, the flip off finger. They don't have um, the clown. So that's how you know if your emojis are cool or not. If you have all of the iPhone emojis. But these are pretty cool as well. These are actually awesome. But I actually do like the face emoji keyboard. Switch to that. And we are in. And this is the face emoji keyboard right here still swipes your swiping effect and you have your emojis and this is how you know if these are because you have the clown you have the money you have the nerd and my favorite one where is it where is it the flip off finger and you can change the colors to yellow, extremely white, medium, light skin, medium dark skin, and dark skin. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I love this keyboard. This keyboard is amazing. This is my favorite emoji, by the way. I'm not even joking. Don't use it often because the people that I talk to, they're not the ones I want to flip off. But, yes, this is the keyboard. This is the messenger. And, like, I can show you this. Your thing is not in the way. When it's in the way, boom. Mm, scrunches up the screen. Take it off. It looks just, it just looks fucking amazing. I really love it. I love it. Um, you can, of course, add or send. Okay. Okay. You can send pictures. You can send GIFs. Like, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's amazing. So, let me get out of there. Let me get out of there, period. Alright. Go into the camera. <clears throat> I have to play around with it a little bit. It keeps going sideways. Turn on. Here are settings. Right there. HDR auto. You have your cheese shutter. You have your tag locations. You have grid. You have your modes right here. Focus, please. No, not even a little bit. No, not even. Ah, whatever. You have also your, uh, it's really not gonna focus, huh? It also has little, uh, 
effects right there. Let's uh. You have full vision. There you go. 18 by 9. Full HD on your recording. So right there, you have full HD, HD, 18 by 9, 16 by 9. So HD is 14 by 40. 1440 by 720. Full HD is 1920 by 1080. So, of course, you'd want that for recording and all that stuff. But you have your full vision. When you click that, you also have this, this for your record, uh, your pictures, and of course, what it's on recommended: 18 by 9, 8.7 uh, megapixels, 41, 60 by 2080. Yeah, I, I, I mean, if that's default, I'd, I'd keep it. But you can mess with that. You have timer. So yeah, you have. All of these cool things. Um, you have your zoom, I believe. That's your zoom. From side by side. Let me take a picture of something. Let me see. Oh, yep. That was that's zoom. Okay. Let me just quick shot. My hand is shaking. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can immediately send it somewhere. So if you click this, let me focus. Click this little button. You can send it to Facebook, straight to Facebook, contact, Instagram, or you can just whatever more. Uh, let's go to the photo itself. Always. Let's turn. Oh, it's already all the way up. So, can you have the zoom in effect? It gets a little blurry as you zoom in, but I mean, you can still see the detail. I mean,. I can't say if it's the camera's trash or not because I do have a screen protector that's on that's trash itself. So, I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to do the camera test later when I get a different screen protector because the screen protector is trash. Trash. So that was the camera. Um Weather update, 73 degrees outside, not too bad. Um, phone dialer, let me, dialer, dial pretty smoothly. This, oh, also a difference from Boost Mobile and Metro, there is no video calling on the Boost Mobile version. Metro version, you have video calling built in and it will be right between the call and the message and it'll be right there. But this version does not have does not have video calling. But it does have duo, so that makes up for it. If you have duo and if your friend has duo then you can video call from there. But it does not have the built in uh video chat from the dialer itself. But Duo makes up for it. Duo is actually a pretty cool, pretty cool, um, pretty cool face thing. So, oh, also, this does not come with, uh, go to display, no, yes, home screen settings. It does not come with an app drawer. does not come with an app drawer. This is how it comes. Just basically like an iPhone. All your stuff, all your shit is on the front porch. <laughs> so, I add the home screen, or the app drawer. And it puts my shit back. 
into their houses. So, yeah, you have your, your app thing right there. Or, another cool thing, you can slide up to get to your app tray. That's pretty cool, and it keeps sliding so you don't have to stop, slide back, stop. No, it keeps going. Screen, on the other hand. Let me see if it actually does. Let me put this on another screen. No. So, it doesn't loop. I don't think it has looping effect. I have to... Actually, let's check that out right now. Let me turn the brightness down because I'm losing percent as we speak. 50. Home screen. Let me see. No. Okay, you can change the. It's pretty cool. I like the rounded. We'll keep that. Uh, loop home screen. There you go. Now you can loop the home screen. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So. If you guys want to loop the home screen, go to display, go to home screen, and then loop home screen. Turn it on, off, search by swiping down. Also, yes, you can swipe down. That gets you like a Google effect type thing. So, you know how you have the Google right there, the Google bar? You tap on it, you can slide down. And boom, all your stuff. I have personal stuff, so... You can also turn that off, so when you swipe, nothing happens when you swipe down. I actually like that, so we're just going to keep that. It's pretty cool. So, you can also, you know, inside your, um, you can rename. You can also change the colors. They have a couple colors you can change. So, this album is green. So the little tents around it is green, and then when you exit, the folder is green itself. A little hair on the screen. This one is like a navy blue. That's like a turquoise light blue. That's the dark pink and light pink right there. But you do have, you can rename, I have all this, my social. Netflix, I know it was a movie, but kind of social as well, you know. And you have different colors. You have all of these colors right here. So. So, yeah, guys, I think this wraps up my uh, unboxing slash review of the phone. I'm about to hit 50 minutes of recording, so I think I'm going to end it. Uh, home touchscreen buttons. Let's go to that. You can change the colors. So, watch. You can change the colors. You see them changing? That's pretty cool. You can switch the button combination as well. You have notification capturing cube slide. You can also change everything around. So, looks like that. When you get the phone, it looks like this. This is how the phone is. The back button, home screen, recent apps. I love my back button on... I like it on this side because I'm a right-handed person. So the back button is on my right thumb, basically. You could add up to five of these right here. I know a lot of people who rock that. The notifications, slide down the notification. And that is actually pretty cool because this is... A big screen, so yeah. Capture. You know, I, I know a lot of people who actually rock that. But I rock this for right now because that's how I like it. Hide home touch buttons. So you can actually take this and let's say my Bank of America. I don't want the touch buttons to show, period. So when I hit Bank of America, they're not going to show up. Show lock. Hide icons. Don't know what that means. But yeah, man, I think I'm done here. This is, this has been 
the LG Stylo 4. I suggest you guys go pick this up. This is actually an amazing device. It's pretty cool. I dig it. The screen is amazing to me in my eyes. Um, I would love to check out the Metro version, but there's no point in buying the same phone over. Maybe if my girlfriend wants this phone because I'm buying her a new phone soon for Metro PCS. So maybe she wants this phone, I'll pick it up and I will do an uh, unboxing of the Metro version. And I'll actually compare it from the Boost Mobile to the Metro and all that. So, good looking out guys. This has been the LG Stylo 4. Peace.